ultimate insult to humanity when you turn a person into a suicide bomber? You'll take the life of hundreds of people while the smile on your face says you couldn't be calmer. You're an aberration to your species, some sort of sick and twisted people who claim they're acting in the name of God, but your excuses couldn't be more feeble. What kind of people would take a child and turn him into a human explosion while you treat him like nothing but an object? It's your people's heart that suffers an erosion. How did you become so sick that you could possibly think that this is right? That becoming the monsters of torture and mass violence is the best way for you to fight. And even if it is in response to too many years of perceived depression, nothing that you're doing will ever justify or elicit anyone's confession. The fact that you use your own people as weapons can never justify your cause. That you fall into this level should be the reality that makes you pause. What have you become with the face of evil, your only image on this earth? Where your children would be better off if they were never given birth? You betray your people as if the ends could ever justify the means. The history that you create of your people is only filled with violent themes. There is no intensity of horror that you're not willing to publicly display. The god you worship must be the devil because this would not be Allah's way. You have darkened the religion that you claim with your callous disregard for the living. And there will come a judgment day when the crimes you commit can't find forgiven. You are a blight upon humanity who speak nothing but the disease of hate. And all I can do is pray that you will one day meet a similar fate. I pray for your people who are trapped inside the horror you create. That they may find their freedom before your violence makes it far too late. I pray for the children that you have the audacity to strap explosive on them. And I pray for the parents who are left to mourn them after they are finally gone. I pray that people will finally see for the sickness that you are. That they wake up one day and realize that you have taken things too far. If there is no horror you wouldn't stick to, nor callousness you wouldn't display. That you are nothing but power-hungry haters who only want to get their way. That the only world that you will promise them is a life full of continual deprivation. That you will even deny their children a chance for a better education. You don't want them to get an education because then they will see you for who you are. Nothing but the violence mongers who will leave their people with a scar. Children who have witnessed the trauma your violence inflicts upon them. Their minds raped by violent scenes they have seen once too often. Images that can't be erased and wounds that time can't heal. Until a numbness settles in and then they can no longer feel. Until they become empty of all life and therefore ready to end it all. And then you provide the explosive that ensures their life will fall. All the while convincing that there's a better life on the other side. You sell them your evil fairy tale and they'll never know that you've lied. You claim you speak for your God, but you are nothing but deceivers. Using other people you have intimidated into becoming your believers. Creating a world so ugly who would want to keep their life. Treating your women like second class citizens, so who would want to be your wife? Displaying your violence like a crown, so that you do nothing but instill fear. Claiming everyone else are infidels, but perhaps you should look into the mirror. The only thing you reflect is the ugly stain of hatred in your eyes. The only thing you'll ever speak is the blasphemy of your lies. The only thing you'll ever do is sin against the human race. And the one you call God will have turned away his face.